Here we go. Please welcome very funny Lee Roger, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. Well, I killed another girlfriend the other day. She wanted me to be on top. Tried to warn her, but uh, she was in a hurry and I was out of breath. So I have a new girlfriend now. They say making love burns off 2,000 calories. Well, when you're my size, it's more like a nuclear fusion going on. Atoms are splitting. I got a gamma ray burst shooting out my ass. Every time there's an earthquake, they bring us in for questioning. She knows I love food, though, so she gets jealous. So she reaches in the fridge, pulls out my hockey dice ice cream, and goes, Is this what you want? I always say, I want to get more energy to make love to you, honey, and I'm thinking about you the entire time I'm eating it. That's why Jenny Craig's our couple's counselor. I get sick of people asking me how I got so big, so now I just tell them I got stung by a bee and the swallowing never went down. I guess the EpiPen didn't work. Of course, it's because I ate too much food, what do they think? But if I gain much more weight, though, I'm going to have my atmosphere and moon. The way I sweat, I'm pretty sure I got global warming going on already. <laughs> I did start a new diet, though. Smokers use nicotine patches. I use cupcake patches, one in each arm. The only problem, though, is I can only go a couple hours before I end up eating them. <laughs> you know, there's minority rights, gay people rights. I think there should be fat people rights. The only problem is we're too lazy to march or protest. <laughs> That's why the airlines can charge us for two seats and why the uh, politicians can uh, tax us on fatty foods. I mean, could you really see us starting a parade? we go about two steps, we'd be out of breath. <laughs> Really think we could pass food places at buffets without stopping in? You really think there'd be any candy left to throw to the kids? I mean, amusement parks aren't really made for fat people either. I mean, first of all, could they put a few chairs in those lines for the rides? And you can't fit most rides anyway when you're fat. Although they do try. The other day I was out of Mall of America, I was going to go on the skateboard ride. There's about three attendants trying to push my harness down, trying to get me ready for the ride. And all of a sudden, one of them says, I think we got it, and they all just walked away. So as my 20, all right, 20, as my 360 pounds is staying about 20 feet in the air, I'm just staring at the ground, and all that's going through my brain is, I think we got it. <laughs> you skinny people thought it was a scary ride. <laughs> Do belong to Weight Watchers. You know, I was loving these memes when these little skinny people get up and go, I got this pants, and everybody gets excited and starts clapping. I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, what's the big deal? I'll probably sweat off five pounds before the meeting's even over. <laughs> Lost my job a couple months ago, had to go apply for food stamps. They gave me 300 bucks. I looked at the guy and said, what am I supposed to do about the other 29 days of the month? <laughs> so I was fine going over to my parents' house too. My mom always sits there and stares at me the entire time I'm there. I think she's thinking to herself, thank God I got him out in time. <laughs> you know, I may be fat, but there is more of me to love. Thank you, everybody. My name is Lee Roger. <laughs> Good job, Lee.